what I see is to reconnect with Mother Earth, who is our mother, and would never sell us down the river. Reconnect with the old brother's son. He's the one that's the most reliable, that never abandoned us. Reconnect with Grandfather Thunder, for they're the one that renews all the water that we drink every day. Reconnect with the trees, maple tree, that brings sweetener to our life, fruits, nourishment, shade in a hot summer's day, warmth from the fire in a cold winter. They're our friends, the moose and the deers and the fish. Those are the truths that we need to ally with. Because if we don't, our children won't have a chance. Our great-grandchildren won't even get born. So that's what my recommendation is for all people, not just natives, but all people in the world, to reconnect to the real truths of the universe and respect it and to love them. That's how we break loose, not to listen to those manipulators and those man-made organizations that just use and use and abuse and they don't care. That's what people's got to wake up. And we can wake up because the sun is still shining. That's the one that gives us the light to see. And if we choose to keep our eyes closed, you can hit that mountain, solid rock mountain, you break your head open. If you want to be dumb and keep your eyes closed when you're traveling, and open your eyes so the light of the sun can show you what's there. That's what I recommend. And that's why all the native indigenous ceremonies is connected to all of those. That's what missionaries destroyed. That's what kings and queens destroyed, dynasties, because that's what's our power. They gave us the power to live with the Mother Earth and ourselves. The whole world needs that now. <laughs>